Now there's another function in the transform menu. So I'm gonna take this transform menu. Again, if you have these little double arrows double clicked, uh, you can go through here and you can take a transform or any menu and grab that white dot and just drag it over here. And under here, you're gonna see there's an axis, axis rotation section. And you're also gonna see right here is X, Y, Z, X, Y, and Z uh, options available to you. You may have Y and X, Y, Z, X, Y, and Z over here. I actually get rid of those because uh, I don't use them very much, but now I might use them a little bit more uh, with this new functionality. So if you want the ability to kind of limit rotation in one axis by uh, specific degrees, this is one way to do that. Uh, so for example, what I'm gonna do is alt tap this main character here and we're gonna go through and I'm just gonna hold down shift and tap the eyeball. So let's say I just wanna limit this like I have her on a, or you know what, we'll keep everything back on because this is gonna be like we have it on a, a sculpture stand. So if we wanna limit her rotation axis, what we can do is instead of allowing free rotation, I can use this axis rotation. So we got two buttons here. We got this rotation and this rotation and it's got set to increments of five. So if I want, and again, if I want to move this camera, I just hold down shift and snap it to the front here. So let's say I want to do increments of 45 degrees. So 45 degrees or snap 45 degrees. Let's go ahead and set this to say like 15. And you can actually set these to hotkey. So what I'm gonna do is hold down control alt, tap this one, and we're gonna set that to J. And then control alt, tap this one, or control alt, left mouse button click, and set that one to K. So now when I hit J, she'll rotate that way and then K, it'll rotate that way. Now if I set this to use local, that's gonna use the last place I clicked on my mesh, and that's actually uh, in here. Uh, when you're just sculpting, this is turned on by default, which makes sense if you're sculpting on the hand, you want it to rotate around the hand. So if that's the last place you touch with your with your standard brush, let's say, uh, with lose, use local on, it'll rotate around the hand there. And you're also gonna see use pin. So if you turn that on, and just turn off use local just to keep the, a center axis here. So we're going to rotate around here so we can turn on use pin and you don't have to press down or anything. You can just hover your pin over your tablet or use your mouse and we're going to hold down J and then use our pin and now we can use this to kind of snap to those rotational axes uh, increments. And I'm going to stop you right there Mike. So if you hover your cursor over the use pin button it's going to literally tell you use pin or mouse movement to rotate ignores increment setting. So you know, while you're holding down the J and then, you know, hovering your pin and it's rotating, it is ignoring your increment setting. So it's not going to snap. Now, if for some reason you want to be on a different axis, like you want to go on the, in the Z direction and that's, you know, X, Y, and Z. So we turn on the floor here. Oh, I'm limiting it to Z. So it's a little bit weird for my navigation here. But you're going to see this blue line here is Z forward. X is left to right, negative to positive, And Y, this green line is up and down. So the Z is right towards the camera. So if I go through here now and I use use pin and then I use J, it'll actually rotate around your Z axis. Or if I turn off use pin and I just go through here and I step through here or I use my J and K hotkeys, now you can rotate around those axes. And again, that's being controlled with whatever axes you have in here.